Chemicals Academy. So in this video we are going to see what is Norwich type 2 reaction. So we already discussed about Norwich type 1 reaction in our previous video. So let's move on to Norwich type 2 reactions. So in Norwich type 2 reactions, ketones have a gamma hydrogen will give this type reaction. So ketones have a gamma hydrogen. So let's take this compound. This is a ketone. See double bond O. So this is alpha carbon. This is beta. And this is gamma. So this gamma carbon contains 3 hydrogen. So this gamma hydrogen is uh, the main, plays the main role in Norwich type 2 reaction. So ketones have a gamma hydrogen will give Norwich type 2 reaction. So this is the main uh, condition or point to remember or differentiate between Norwich type 1 and Norwich type 2. So gamma hydrogen abstraction or 6 member during formation takes place in Norwich type 2 reactions. Here the gamma hydrogen, this gamma hydrogen can be abstracted and this will form a 6 member ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a 6 member ring is formed. So that's the main point for Norwich type 2 reaction. And if alpha carbon contains 2 hydrogen, it will give NT2. NT2 means Norwich type 2 reactions. If it contains alkyl and hydrogen, it will give Norwich type 2 reactions. And if it contains 2 alkyl groups, it will give cyclization. So alpha carbon, this carbon, this carbon contains 2 hydrogens. So this will give Norwich type 2 reaction. If it contains instead of 2 hydrogen, 2 alkyl group, then it will go through cyclization instead of Norwich reactions. So these are the important points of Norwich type 2 reactions. Now we will solve problems. Now let's do the mechanism and examples. So first we can see the mechanism. So here a ketone is given with gamma hydrogen uh, present. So gamma hydrogen can be abstracted by this oxygen and then the next step is alpha beta cleavage. So this is methylability rearrangement. So you have seen methylability rearrangement in mass spectroscopy. Methylability rearrangement is taking place in uh, uh, Norwich type 2 reactions. So what is the process? R. C double bond O is cleaved homolytically. So we will get C O radical and here also a radical. Then C H 2, C H 2 and C H 3 can be written as C H 2 radical and the hydrogen radical. This is gamma hydrogen. This gamma hydrogen is abstracted by this oxygen. So what will we what will get? R C O H here a radical and C H2 C H2 C H2 radical. And uh, I already said a six member ring can be formed in Norwich type 2 reaction. Here we can form a 6 member ring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So here a 6 member ring can be formed. So this is Norwich type 2 reaction. And now the next step is alpha beta cleavage. This is alpha and this is beta carbon. So alpha beta cleavage is the next step in McLeod rearrangement. So first step is the CO cleavage, homolytic cleavage of C double bond O. Then two radicals are formed. Then gamma hydrogen abstraction by oxygen of carbonate compound. Then alpha beta cleavage of So this bond is cleaved. So what will we get? R C O H. Here a radical and here C H2 radical. C H2 radical. And C H2 double bonded C H2 is eliminated. C H2 double bonded C H2 is eliminated minus this element. So we will get this uh, two radical compound. So this can be combined to form double bond R C O H double bonded C H2. Now what happens? This can be shifted to here and this can be shifted to here. So we will get a ketone R C double bond O C H3 R C double bond O C H3. So we got a ketone. So from this compound, 
we are getting RCW bond CH3 to make color for the rearrangement. So this is uh, Norris type two reaction mechanism. So in metallurgy rearrangement, the steps uh, we have to remember is first the cleavage, homolytic cleavage of CO, then gamma hydrogen abstraction, then alpha beta cleavage. So we can do this second problem. Let's do second example. So first we are doing CO cleavage and gamma abstraction, hydrogen abstraction. So here CO cleavage occurs. So what will we get? A uh, radical group. And here a uh, R group is present. And here this is gamma hydrogen. And one more thing. This is alpha. This is beta. And this can be also gamma hydrogen. So we will uh, take the gamma hydrogen which is nearer to the carbonyl compound. So this is nearer. So we will take that gamma hydrogen which is nearer to uh, nearest to CO. So we are taking this gamma hydrogen. So this gamma hydrogen is abstracted and we will get OH here. And this a uh, radical is formed. Now what will be uh, the step? Alpha beta cleavage in uh, metal effort rearrangement or Norris type 2 reaction. But here a problem is there. This is alpha, this is beta and this is gamma. So this is alpha carbon. So this alpha carbon contains two alkyl groups. So I already said if alpha carbon contains two alkyl group, it will not give Norris type 2 reaction. It will give cyclization. So a cyclic compound is formed. So how the cyclic compound is formed? This will make a bond. So instead of Norwich type 2 reaction or alpha beta cleavage, we will get a cyclic compound. Cyclic compound. Here OH and this will make a bond. So this is the uh, product we are getting. Cyclization is occurred because two alkyl groups are present in alpha carbon. And in this third example, here hydrogen is present. One hydrogen and one alkyl group give Norris type 2 reaction. So here the product will be alpha beta cleavage occurs here. Norris type 2 reaction. So first CO cleavage and gamma hydrogen abstracted. So here comes the radical here OH and here a CH3. CH3. So here a hydrogen, alpha, beta, gamma. Now alpha, beta cleavage over. So this bond can be cleaved. So what will we get? Here a radical. So this bond is cleaved. So here a radical comes and here also a radical. And the rest is what? OH, ME. So double bond is formed. So here comes a double bond and this is written as like this and here OH and here a ME and here a carbon is there. Carbon, a hydrogen and a radical. So now what will happen? Like in metallurgical in our type 2 reaction this can be shifted to here and a uh, hydrogen will come, hydrogen will come to here. So what will happen? And this can be written as five membered ring. One, two, three, four, five. So we can write this as five membered ring. So it will be easy. One, two, three, four, five. So on one and second position double bond and in fourth position this substituent. So this can be written like this. Here a carbon, a hydrogen and again a carbon and then a methyl group and then C double bond O. And here also a hydrogen is attached.
So this is the methylopoietin rearrangement or Norwich type 2 reaction. So what are the steps? First see double bond or cleavage. And another important point is if two alkyl groups are present in alpha carbon, it will give cyclization instead of Norwich type 2 reaction. So here hydrogen is present and one alkyl group. So Norwich type 2 reaction occurs. Norwich type 2 reaction occurs. So first CO cleaved, then gamma hydrogen abstraction, and gamma hydrogen is nearest to C double bond O. The hydrogen, the gamma hydrogen, which is nearest to C double bond O is taken. So gamma hydrogen abstraction uh, happens and then alpha beta cleavage and the uh, compound is formed. Coming to fourth example, this is a bridge compound, a bridge ketone. So this is a C double bond O. First we will see the C double bond O, then a uh, free radical is formed. So the structure is here. We are cleaning. So we will get radical and this is gamma hydrogen. Alpha beta alpha beta gamma. This is also gamma hydrogen, but the nearest gamma hydrogen is abstracted. So this is the nearest gamma hydrogen to CO. So this is abstracted. So what will be here? A radical comes. A radical form. Now what will happen? And here comes OH. OH. Now, now next step is alpha beta cleavage. Alpha beta cleavage. But here a problem comes. If we clean this bond, what will we get? Here, if we clean this alpha beta bond, here a radical comes. Here already a radical present. And this compound is eliminated. So, this will make a bond. That means, here a double bond is uh, occurred, formed. So, is this structure stable? No. We know Brett's rule. Brett's rule states that double bond cannot be placed in bridge head position or junction of a bicyclic compound. This is the junction. So we can't place double bond in bridge position. That, state, that is Brett's rule. So this structure is not stable. So this uh, reaction does not happen. Instead, what will happen? Alpha beta cleavage does not happen. So, cyclization will happen. How? This alpha beta, uh, beta is not cleaved. So, here a radical is present. Here a radical is present. So, this will make a bond and form this compound. So, this is the compound product we are getting. So, uh, you should remember Brett's rule also for bicyclic compounds, double bond does not come in bridge head position. Now, let me summarize today's section. Norwich type 2 reactions are given by ketones having gamma hydrogen. And gamma hydrogen is abstracted. That's the main process. It is called McLeoferty rearrangement. And the steps of McLeoferty rearrangement were discussed. And we discussed Brett's rule and the nearest gamma hydrogen is abstracted. And another point is if two alkyl groups are present in alpha carbon, it will give cyclization instead of Norwich type 2 reaction. So these were the important points of Norwich type 2 reaction. So in next video, we will see another photochemical reaction.